often when we think of the church or the Christian church, we think of a congregation that gathers on a Sunday morning or, or even a denomination like the United Church of Canada, for example. But the reality is that Christianity, the Christian church, is visible and present across the world. Is the gathering of all the believers that worship in different language, uh, with different culture, different tradition, different theology, but worship the same God. And also the church or Christian church is not something new, is not something that our generation made up. It's, uh, it's a great continuum that start more than 2,000 years ago and will last in the future. We don't know how, many, how much time, but it's an unfolding story that goes on and on and on. And on special days, like All Saints Days that is coming, we're invited to remember all of those who precede us, those who answer the call to live their faith that and to form what we call sometimes the communion of saints, communion in the sense of community of saints. And we remember some of the famous saints, I would say, uh, Francis of Assisi, who show and who embody a life of uh, simplicity, who for a man of the um, 13th century was very relevant today when it comes to eco-theology. We remember those who, from a more recent past, like, I don't know, Martin Luther King, who remind everyone that every human beings are supposed to be equal. There was no class or division between human beings. And we also remember the unnamed saints because saints are not just special people it's all of those who faithfully live this life who also form us influence us guide us and one way or another and those saints contrary to some belief are not we're not just perfect they're not we're not holier they were simply faithful human being finding ways to live their faith bring their own little contribution little or or huge and large but each of them were important and in these times of profound transformation profound disruption and what we understand to be the church it's especially important to remind them, remember them, and to feel a special connection with them. Not necessarily to give them a veto. We cannot give a veto to someone who deceased and, and say something like, oh, my great-grandfather would never have allowed that, even if he's been dead for 50 years. Now, it's trying to learn from their wisdom their mistakes, their accomplishments, their journeys, and to become aware also that we're not at the top of the pyramid. We're not at the end of the story of the Christian church. Others will follow after us. Others will have different ideas, different styles, different ways to live their faith. In fact, we're just one link and this huge chain. But as we know from experience, every link has to be strong so the change will not break. So on days like All Saints Days, we're also asked to, like I said, remember the saints who influenced our life and made us who we are, and also commit ourselves to work to live our faith so others will be influenced by us so that we pass this knowledge this wisdom this anything that we can the gifts everything we can pass 
and say, that's your turn now. You are the saints of the f today. It's time for us to go. And it's time for you to make this church thrive in its own way and continue this great cycle of life. So thank you for listening. If you have an opportunity to thank one of the saints in your life, don't wait too long before it's too late. And on t thank you for listening. I'm Reverend Stefan Vermet, a lectionary man. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.